Hey everyone, Carrie here with Reduce and Prepare. Uh, first off, I would ask that you subscribe to the channel if you like what you're about to see. Uh, the video today came about from uh, a couple cool videos that I saw floating out on YouTube. Um, people taking their Goal Zero uh, Yeti and uh, daisy chaining several batteries to them. And I thought, wow, great idea, but what if you needed to leave in a hurry? And um, granted, these are very heavy batteries, but I did feel that there was a solution um, that I could come up with to have two daisy chain batteries in the Goal Zero uh, in a box, a very sturdy box, and that's what I'm about to show you. I'm going to give you a tour of uh, the box I built, and here we go. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a tour of this box that I built. Um, so first off, you're going to see this, this rolling caddy. Uh, that actually I found in the garbage, believe it or not. It was a display for a, a flooring and tile center, and it has casters on it already. The weird thing is the box that I built without knowing it, it literally fits exactly inside of this. So this whole unit rolls around on the floor. Um, another construction feature that's very unique that is why this box can hold so much weight. So basically the bottom is double layered. I have two three quarter inch panels sandwiched together, but the first panel, I basically made a pocket. So I drilled a hole out on all four sides. That construction technique you're going to see on all four sides of the box. So that basically means that when you pick this box up it's supported by the bottom and the sides. It, it, it distributes the weight evenly. I have two power connectors that go inside of the box, waterproof. You'll see why. Um, some heavy duty handles on the outside and I've got a clasp here for security and let's go ahead and show you inside. Let's get some extra light. <clears throat> All right guys, so this is my build. Um, I'm not sure where to start. So I have a power strip here. So in a normal everyday situation, uh, you would run your power strip through the side, out the waterproof box, and into an outlet. That will keep the whole system charged. Now, I do keep my Goal Zero separate from this uh, unit, and here's why. In case of an EMP, worst case scenario, if anything else in the box gets fried, I do keep my Goal Zero in a Faraday cage um, during off times, okay? I do take it out every month to, to charge it back up, but other than that, that thing gets stored in a Faraday cage. Other than that, the batteries are, each battery is on its own Black & Decker tender. I have those running 24-7. I'm keeping a nice 12.9, 12.8 on each battery. I did wire in those voltmeters and uh, it's worked out really well. This thing has been on charge nonstop for about six months. No questions asked. Um, it's just been really great. Now, if you remember, I said that the bottom is double thickness. So what I've done for the battery box, the Goal Zero, and the other battery box, is I cut out a footprint in the top layer, and then I put that mounting strap for the battery box into that. So this thing could be on a 45 degree angle without question, and um, the batteries aren't going anywhere. You could almost turn this thing upside down, and these batteries aren't going anywhere. The only thing left on this build is I'm going to work on uh, a strap system for the Goal Zero, so that in theory this thing could go upside down and the Goal Zero stays in place. Um, and other than that, guys, that's that's pretty much it. Those are the Anderson power pole connectors um, with the inline fuses. I do keep some extra fuses in here in case of an emergency. That is an extension for my 12 volt socket on the uh, Goal Zero. Um, over here in its own little Faraday cage that I built is just some accessories. The uh, the solar charger for the solar panel. Um, just a few other electronic devices that I did want to protect. So that's double cardboarded, um, double uh, foiled. So in the event of an EMP, which will be very unpredictable as far as the strength of one of those, that, that stuff may make it through. Um, I did install some stays so that the lid stays open. And guys, other than that, that is my build to have two batteries and a Goal Zero with, uh, don't, I think I showed you the handles, 
Uh, you literally could pick this thing up and throw it in the truck and be on the road and probably, depending on what you're using it for, obviously, um, you know, get several days power out of this in an emergency. I do have the solar panel to go with the Goal Zero. Um, but that's it, guys. If you, if you like this build, I would really appreciate a like, uh, any comments uh, regarding it. Uh, but other than that, thank you for watching. And I don't know if you can see it down there. But basically, that's a security cable that I've ran a two-inch screw through the bottom of this whole thing. So if you were in a situation where maybe you're outside camping, uh, you take this to an RV park, and you have your solar panel out charging the whole setup out uh, and you don't want someone to walk off with the unit you basically can run that right outside of that hole and then uh, from there you can lock it to a tree all right guys so i hope you like the video if you do go ahead and feel free to uh, click like on the video share it uh, subscribe to the channel and um, feel free to leave comments i, I do check those out occasionally but uh, other than that i hope you enjoyed the build and uh, have a good one